What's up painting friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stoof and today we're going to do an acrylic painting tutorial of some beautiful sunset sky clouds. For our materials today I have an 8 inch by 10 inch canvas panel. You can get those at craft stores or on Amazon. I have a link for that in my materials list in the description under this video. All of these materials are in there actually. Uh, we also have a palette paper pad here that you can just uh, rip off a sheet and dispose of it when you're done. And we are using some acrylic paints today. I have a variety of brands here, uh, including Arteza, Liquitex, Amsterdam, a couple different brands. Um, but the paint colors are Dioxazane Purple, Titanium White, Ultramarine Blue, Thalo Blue, Thalo Green, Flesh Tint, Cobalt Blue, Light Blue Violet, Magenta, Cadmium Free Red Light, Mars Black, Yellow Oxide, or Yellow Ochre, either color will work. This one is Burnt Umber, Yellow Ozo, and this one's like a fluorescent orange color. If you have like a, a Cadmium Orange or any type of an orange, probably on the warmer side orange, so just a little bit more orange than this one, you'll be okay. You don't have to have that fluorescent one. Uh, I just don't have any other orange right now, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then for our brushes today, I have five brushes. I'm not sure if I will need all of these. This is a small round tipped brush. Will be really nice for getting that puffy cloud look. Uh, another brush that used to be a flat tip brush, but it got really uh, worn down. So we're going to call this one a round tip brush because that's kind of what it is now. Uh, we have an angled brush. We have a filbert brush, so a semi round tip head. And these two are both about a half inch, maybe a little smaller. And then this guy's a little bit over an inch uh, angled brush. We also have a cup of water. Mine's a little bit murky from a painting I just did before this. And we have some Viva paper towels. I like to use these because they don't leave a residue. Uh, and these are great for drying off your brushes, getting the excess paint off your brushes, which we're gonna use a lot today. We're gonna do a lot of dry brushing type of work where you just get all the extra paint off your brush and kind of fluff around the paint on the canvas. All right, guys, let's dive into this painting tutorial together. So first I'm just gonna work on a solid transition, nice smooth transition from my cool blue sky to like my warmer blue, greenish blue, to my more gold in color at the base of the canvas. And then I'm gonna layer the clouds over top. But first we just wanna get that nice smooth blend from cool to warm with our sky. So we're gonna start with cobalt, and light blue violet and some white. And we're just gonna take this color and go back and forth at the top of the canvas. If you guys are working on a regular table that you don't wanna get covered in paint, I recommend putting something under your canvas. Or if you're working on an easel, that's even better. All right, so we got that color down and we're gonna take more light blue violet, some white, some phthalo green, and some phthalo blue. And we're gonna put that right under that one. So we got two colors here. Now what I wanna do is blend up. So I'm just gonna go back and forth, covering up all that white space lightly pressing, not pressing as hard as I was for at first to get that paint on there. And just keep going back and forth, right up and down over the spot between the two layers. And it's kind of giving me that nice blend of color. Whoop. Try not to have any streaks. You just wanna have a nice soft blend. All right, and then we're gonna take more phthalo green to that color blend we just had there. And now we're gonna do another one right under that. Actually, I'm gonna add even more white and phthalo green. We got that one there. And then we're gonna take the extra paint off my brush because I feel like there's a little too much paint stuck on my brush there. And I'm just gonna now go back and forth. That's helping me to get a nice smooth blend. If I had kept all the paint on the brush, it probably would have been a little too much. Now I'm gonna take the extra paint off my brush again. Grab some phthalo green and white. Blending it a little bit into that color, but I want it to be more light and green. We're gonna put that right under what we had there. Maybe a little bit more white. 
and then take the extra paint off my brush and blend it up into the color above that. Nice blend. Now I'm going to take white, mix a little bit of light blue violet in here too. Need more white already. So this one should be even lighter than what you had before. I'm just going to blend that up. And next, get the extra paint off the brush. More white, a little phthalo green, and some yellow azo, just a little bit. It's going to be a little on the green side, a little bit of um, yellow oxide. To, you want it to be super light, and a lot of this section is going to be covered by a cloud anyway. But the transition's pretty tough sometimes, getting that from blue to yellow color. You don't want it to look too green, so by adding more white and making it really light, it'll look less green. Get the extra paint off your brush. I'm actually going to take the brush into the water now. And now we're going to take some white and some yellow azo and some yellow oxide. And let's do a little phthalo green, just a little bit. That color will go right here. And then we'll blend that up very gently. And then we're going to take some of that fluorescent orange and some more yellow azo. And we're going to put this here, back and forth, blend up just like we did with all the other colors. Get really good coverage. And we're going to mix some cadmium red light and some more yellow and some white. And put that at the bottom. So this is a really pretty nice soft transition of color already. And what we're going to do next is let this dry for about 15 minutes and then we're going to come back and start to add our clouds. If you guys uh, don't want to wait 15 minutes, you could uh, use a hair dryer and that will help us to dry a little bit more quickly. Paint is dry, looking good. And now we're going to start, I think I want to start from the bottom up. Uh, so our clouds in the background are at the bottom and then the clouds at the top are probably the closest ones to us and we kind of have we have three or four basic layers of clouds here and then you can see some of the background through it so I'm going to start with these clouds at the bottom that are uh, pretty far in the distance by mixing some magenta with my cadmium free red light and some dioxazine purple and then we're going to mix in some flesh tint and even more flesh tint. That's going to get it looking kind of faded out in the distance. A little bit of white in there too, maybe. And maybe a little bit of yellow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't, I don't want it to be too much darker than what's already on here. And that, I'm liking what I just put down. So just going to go to about halfway from left to right, even a little farther if you want. And you're just going to have some clouds right in there. I'm just doing the edges first. And I'm going to take the extra paint off of this brush and just kind of dry brush it. So I'm going back and forth, letting it go onto the canvas. I'm not going to lie to you guys, if, if you're new to painting, acrylic is the way to go. But once you are good enough or comfortable enough with acrylic paint, then painting clouds with oil paint is much better <laughs> because oil paint takes a lot longer to dry. So you get way more time for blending and the colors just build up so nicely with oil paint when you're trying to paint clouds. So. You're welcome to do this tutorial using oil paint if you'd like, if you are comfortable enough. Just going to take you a little longer using this layering method. You'd have to put that first layer down 
and then let the painting dry for a few days before you come in with your um, next with your round of clouds. So I just blended a little bit of dioxazine purple in here. I'm just gonna put that over right here on this side and kind of blend this into my other color, just going back and forth, covering up this whole bottom left corner. Kind of creates little shadows underneath the clouds. So it's like the darker section. And then we're gonna have a little highlight down here. I'm gonna use some of my fluorescent orange with some white and some flesh tint and magenta. And this is and a little more orange actually. This is gonna be our little highlight for a cloud. It's kind of coming over. Getting the extra paint off my brush, just going back and forth. And we can go back to that shadowy color, kind of comes right up and under this highlight color. added even a little more purple to keep boosting that shadow. Just blending those a little bit. White with dioxazine purple and magenta and some umber. And a little bit of that red. That's a good color for this shadow. And that shadow gets lighter and a little more purple as we get to the top of it. Even lighter than that. Maybe a little bit of orange mixed in there too. There we go. And I'm just gonna mix a little bit of that orange, red, and this shadow color. Just add a little bit of that there. Just blending this down into this shadow. Covering up the background color. Then we can go back over with this highlight again now that we know where it is. And if you want to blend this out a little more, you can just take your paint with take your brush with all of the paint off of it and just kind of fluff around that little edge and try to soften it up. You can really push into the canvas and soften that. Then we've got a couple little, I'm going to clean the brush off real quick, a couple little highlights down here. Just take some white with some yellow. Azo. I'm just going to add these little highlights. a couple random little clouds in there. And you can use that to also soften up your edge a little more with that white mixed. White with yellow. That right, looks good. Take a little of that highlight color and just add that. 
over top of some of these. Let's blend in these colors in a little more. Cool, I'm looking, I'm liking that. And then we've got a nice big cloud here. We're gonna use that fluorescent orange with white flesh tint and some yellow. And some cad free red light. And for this one, we've got, we're gonna get that highlight first. Getting it on the canvas. And you can take your brush and go back and forth and kind of soften up the edge just a little. This one's not super puffy. It's a little bit more of a hard line. Anytime you want to blend, just make sure you get the extra paint off your canvas or off of your brush. And we'll just start to pull that highlight up a little more. And then the cloud is this color that we made before. We're just going to add a little more purple. And that dark purple goes right at the bottom here. There's a little transition with red that we're going to add. And if you want, at this point, we could use a larger angled brush. So we're going to keep going with that purple. Don't blend your two highlight and uh, shadow colors just yet. Just kind of leave them and we're going to get to that in a bit. For now, just kind of get the colors down. So we put this right over that <clears throat> and then we're going to take a little bit of our light blue violet in our dioxazine purple. And we'll take a little bit of black. And that's kind of like the top cloud part. So we're going to just do some little swirly motions going up and down. You can make it this cloud shape however you'd like. So we got the top of the cloud and the bottom of the cloud. Now we want to blend in these shadow colors together. So take this cooler purple, blend it down into your warmer purple that we put down first. Just go back and forth with the brushwork. And we can start to blend that stuff. So I'm going to take, go back to my smaller little brush and your paint should still be a little wet. If it's not, then you're going to have to go back with that highlight color again and just add that and uh, then blend it into your shadow color. But this is like the, there's light at the bottom. Your sun like just set, so it's still lightening up the bottom of the cloud. Just make sure you cover up all of that background color so we can get a nice good cloud. I'm going to mix a little warmer purple here. And you can take this little warmer purple and add a little bit of a highlight in there. Maybe another little one right here just to start to separate these clouds a little. 
And then just kind of blend that out, go back and forth. A little bit more of this color. It's a little warmer over here too. A little bit more magenta in the clouds. Just go back and forth. And let's take this darker color, add a little bit of white to so that one. And start to add a couple little cool highlights in here. Going this way. lighten this up even more. Just taking my extra paint off and blending that a little. I'm going to mix a little more cobalt in there. Make it a little cooler. Yeah, that's pretty. And then let's take our um, Camion Free Red with some Dioxazine Purple and we can um, warm up, oops, let's use even more red. We can warm up the little contact between the highlight and the cool color shadow. If you're, uh, I don't really like when the canvas texture shows through. So if you don't like that either, <laughs> like you can see the little uh, like grid from the canvas, you can um, put a little water on your paint, just thin it down a little more and it'll fill in between those lines. Now let's get some highlight color for up here. So we do have a highlight at the top of this cloud. I'm going to mix some white with my yellow ozo and some flesh tint with a tiny bit of uh, light blue violet just to calm it down a little. And then for this I'm going to thin the paint down a little bit and we're going to start over here. Just add these little highlights right over your darker stuff only on the right side really. And you could take a little more flesh tint and mix it with a tiny hit of that orange. You can just add a little bit there at the edge. And then you can take your shadowy color again and, and just kind of push it in little circles to finish building up that shape. All right, let's keep moving up and we can always come back to this cloud if we want to um, adjust something farther down. So we're going to take, I'm going to take this like orange with yellow, just blend those two together and thin it down just a little. And there are a couple little highlight clouds just in between here. Take a little more yellow for some of them. He's got these are down here a little too, a little bit there. It's nice to have these little ones in between the big layers of clouds because it kind of ties the painting all together again. All right, then we'll take this highlight color again. We want more yellow in this one. 
than we had there. So more on the yellow side. I'm going to start with this one right here. Take the extra paint off your brush. Just blend it around a little, blend it into the sky. And we'll take some dioxazine purple and some magenta. I'm going to start with that combo and we can always warm it up a little bit more later if we want. So just going right up to my highlight. Put it right behind all that. And then I just want to take, while that's down real quick, I'm going to take my orange and magenta and yellow oxide and white and kind of blend this up into that. And we can go back to our highlight color again while we're here. More white. And even more white. And just reapply that highlight over what you had before. Now it all kind of blends because we're working in the same place with a couple layers at the same time. So the paint should still be wet where we can layer. And then let's just fluff this one out, get the extra paint off the brush. All right, now let's go to our more purple. So I'm just going to blend some purple in there with some phthalo blue. And I'll start to add this. And then it gets more blue, purple, and some umber, and some white. Just take some white from a couple spots there. <laughs> So it goes here, just doing little circle motions to get the good coverage of paint. And you kind of blend down. And there are a couple little patchy sections here. keeping those circular motions. Then it gets lighter again, makes a little more umber in there. I know a lot of people uh, that are new to painting wouldn't expect to use brown in clouds, but I use brown in clouds a lot, especially in sunset, sunset sky colors. Brown is really close to purple, so it's really useful for sunset skies. All right, we got all those in there. I'm going to wet the paintbrush here and just kind of fluff these edges up a little more with a little bit of water on my brush just to soften clouds a little more. There is like a little bit of sky space that you can see in between this cloud. All right. 
Now we got to lighten a couple things up here. So I'm going to go back to this lighter purple. and forth up into the shadowy color kind of softening up the bottom by blending it out and we're going to blend a little bit of that orange color grab some more magenta highlight there and let's take a little more white blend it in with that shadowy color blend some more brown into there and start to add a little kind of highlight to the tops of these just in a couple spots give it a little more depth And you can mix a little more cobalt in some spots. I think over here it's pretty dark, more cobalt blue color. You can mix some ultramarine in there too. This is pretty dark over here. Dark and cool. And then down here we have more highlight colors blending my orange with my other magenta e color <laughs> can the extra paint off my brush and then kind of blending them out a little bit blending my orange into my yellow And I'm going to go back to my white with my yellow. Just keep lightening this highlight up a little more. All right, I'm liking that. And then at the top, Oh, I don't have too much more going on here. I think I'm just going to wet my brush, uh, mix this brown color again, and just start to add a little bit of that kind of really hazy looking cloud. So with uh, thinning down the paint with your brush in the water will help you to get this kind of hazy little cloud look. and then dry brush out whatever looks too thick or opaque. And all we, let's see, let's add a little bit more magenta. Can get a little bit of a highlight on some of these. I think I want to go back here. You guys don't have to do this part, but what I am seeing that I want this a little bit more of the background color to be in between this part of the cloud. So I'm going to match this up. It's pretty close, a little more white maybe. I'm trying to match this up to my sky. 
color and just add a little space. I'm trying to make this cloud a little smaller. Blending that in. And then you can always go back with your cloud color, do your little swirly motions to blend it. And I want this one to be even darker here. And it can blend a little better now too because that background color is wet again. A little more brown in here. And I'll take more magenta and oxazine purple. And just warm up a couple little spots on the cloud here and then what else can I do to make this more realistic I think this cloud is looking a little weak I'm going to take a little more dioxazine purple and magenta and some red and a little white a little bit more red I'm going to build up the darkness, make that value a little darker in here. Look at that, that really helped bring it to life. And you can get your brush a little wet and let these colors blend. And we'll just mix a little more white with one of our cobalt. Just let that go, blend in. Doing my swirls. And there's a little hint of a highlight in here. Mix a little more umber in there for this section. Just having that extra bit of color and value really helped to build up this cloud and make it look more three dimensional, realistic. All right, and then I think I'm gonna go back with my fluorescent orange and my red, a little magenta, blue, and white, but much more orange. And we're just gonna build this highlight layer back up. Just very lightly pressing here. Take a 
Make some more magenta and red. Let's blend that up a little. And you can use that a little in your shadows over here. All right, and then for down here, maybe I'll come back to my like yellowy green color and just try to soften up this edge a little more. Tiny bit more yellow azo. And just fluffing out that edge, adding a little highlight at the top of that cloud. It's kind of warming everything up a little bit. So it pushes it even farther back into the distance. Fluffing that out, taking more yellow. Now we can go back to our orange. Taking my extra paint off and blending it. Just trying to keep things soft down here. A little more brown, red. Just get this one. A little more. It's going to take a little more red, blend that in with some magenta and my purple. I just want to do a little bit more of that in here. Let's blend it out. That's better. All right, guys, we're going to call that a finished painting. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sunset cloud painting tutorial. If you have recommendations for future painting tutorials, leave a comment under this video and I will add them to my list of things to paint. You also can send me a message on Instagram. My Instagram is Steph Maraca Fine Art, 
if you have a photo you'd like me to use for reference for a painting tutorial. That wraps it up for today, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my fun painting tutorials, and I'll catch you next time. Happy painting. Bye-bye.